What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video we are doing something a little bit different but highly requested by you guys and that is none other than my top 10 necessities for babies. I have been going through the past couple of months and picking my favorite and super necessary items that have saved my life and changed the game for me while having a baby. So if you are interested in seeing this video then just keep watching. <music> you guys the first thing we're going to talk about is this amazing cart that i created that i am in love with and use every single day i believe i have spoken about it maybe once on this channel but i wanted to kind of go into some depth with you about what this is used for and how many different uses you really can have for this i created this to be my baby cart and I happen to put a diaper caddy on top that fits really well and serves the purpose of organizing everything you need from diapers to wipes to my favorite burp cloths. I've talked about these before from Burt's Bees. This does have external pockets, so if you wanted to use this somewhere else in the house, you could absolutely do so. These are an addition that you can add onto the sides and they come in a couple of different styles. I opted for the skinny long ones and I like to put my bottles and my breast pump bottles on these. The next level I have a, these are Bright Room stackable separated organizers and I put brushes, aquaphor, all of that stuff in there. My pump, another set of those for the pump bottles. And then on the bottom, I just have a little bit of random everything, um, refills for the garbage can, some books, pacifiers, socks, all of that stuff on the bottom. And then on the side, I added this little sticky hook and I think it's perfect to hang the cords so that nothing touches anything and it keeps everything out of the way. This literally has been a game changer, not only because it's on wheels, but because it keeps everything organized and separated, especially in those long nights, as you well know, where you're up 20 times and you're not sure where everything is. These really help. And then just having this easily accessible and on the top it makes everything quick and easy to manage as far as something you're going to use the most often, which will be diaper changes. I also have one of these in a different color, but the same exact cart, and I use it for a cleaning cart. These are really good for the organizers from Bright Room at Target or the organizers from Walmart from the Home Edit line. Those fit really well in these as well. So let me know if this is something you guys have used, if this is something you would find useful, and let me know, of course, if you have any questions. Next up is the Kululi, Kululi? I think that's how you pronounce it, um, mini fridge. I wish you guys could see just how many this refrigerator is. It's literally so tiny, probably the size of, I'd say uh, the width of a volleyball and probably a volleyball and a half high, if that makes sense. I love that it has a handle. This does have an adapter, so you can plug this in in a car. It does come with two trays on the inside if you wish to have them. And then this little tiny skinny tray on the side to store stuff in. This is, again, something you can use after the fact. You can use this during having a baby. You can use this for drinks. You can use it for snacks. Um, while you're pregnant, you can literally use this for so many things, especially if you have a two-story house. Let me tell you, it's worth the investment. I think it's around $60. Again, it comes with the adapter to plug it into the car. I have used this thing every single day. And if I could pick one thing, I would definitely pick this. It's phenomenal. It fits formula, pre-done bottles, breast milk bottles, sodas, candy bars, literally so many different things. And the depth is about as deep as your hand. As you can see, that's my entire hand in there. So definitely several bottles. Um, I put, I separate mine out, formula, milk, what, what, whatever the case, it's going to store everything. And you can even put like the 
If you wanted to freeze your breast milk, you could put the bags in here. Just so many different options, but I love it because it's really cold. It's very simple to use. It's lightweight. It comes with the handle, like I mentioned. The reviews of this are mixed. I read them extensively online. I don't know why. I don't know what you have to complain about. This thing is phenomenal. I plugged it in. I've not had any issues since. It is extremely cold, probably colder than my regular refrigerator. So no issues there at all either. I also did opt to get this. This is actually for a pet. Um, it's a silicone tray for the bottom, just in case anything happens, the power goes out, what have you. So there is no leak on the wood floor. So again, this is a temporary setup, but just for all intents and purposes, I wanted to show you that if you were worried about that, you can get that for like four or five bucks just give some added extra protection. And the other thing in the bedroom that I will talk about is this adorable humidifier. I think it is very useful. It has touch everything on the back so you can change how bright it gets, how dim it gets. I also love that it has different lights. You can pause them, hit the button on the back and it will stay on that color of light or just leave it go through all the light colors. So if you're big into having the red light, uh, didn't do anything for me, <laughs> but if you think that helps, definitely utilize that. But it's so cute. It's so sleek. It's modern looking. I feel like this would blend in with anyone's decor and not really stick out of place very much. And it really is useful. It does have a dial on the top. You can change the direction of where the mist goes, but I really love this. It's not too big and bulky and you can take it apart and wash every orifice of it, which I've seen some of the reviews on the other ones where you cannot, and I think that that's probably a, an issue because then at that point you're just pushing mold into the air. So I love that you're able to take it apart and wash everything. You use vinegar to kind of sanitize and break up anything that may grow on it, which of course it's going to, it's bound to its water. But just so you know, I love this. I think everyone should have at least one humidifier. Any sort of congestion you hear in them, I think this is just great to run next to their bassinet or crib just to make sure that you're giving them as much moisture as possible. I also wanted to briefly talk about the pack and play slash bassinet slash nap time slash everything. <laughs> I have tried and researched so many different bassinets and pack and plays and beds. And this just for me, I think is amazing. It does come in and out of going on sale, but I love that it is easy to put together. It's slim and skinny and again, multifunctional. So when she gets older, you can take the bassinet part out of the top. It just simply unzips and then they can have the pack and play at the bottom to play in, whatever the case may be. I did get standard regular sheets and they fit perfectly fine. I can link those as well. I think they're super cute little zebras. But this has worked really, really well um, for us, the space and all of that. There are a ton of great bassinets out there. If you have any that are your favorites, please leave them in the comments below. I think there's nothing better than having options, of course. But for all intents and purposes, everything I purchase, I love to have things that you can utilize later on. And as you can see, this is really skinny and very compact. And I just think it's perfect for when they're small and you want something that's going to be useful later on without taking up too much room. All right, next up is this Graco two-in-one seat where you can plug it in. This seat comes off so you can put it on the floor. You can also attach it here so it swings around. It has so many different settings on it. All of these different movements, you can change the movement so the seat goes in that direction or shape. It also has music, nature sounds, and then the volume. I think this is awesome, especially because you can add the mobile, you can take the mobile off, you can hang things from it, you can buckle them in for safety. It has a couple of different pieces here. The only drawback is it has um, only two color combinations, which aren't the most aesthetically pleasing. However, at least it's not bright colors at least it's a calm neutral but the base is really nice and heavy it feels very safe and then I will show you what this looks like when you stop this and then pull it off you can put this seat on the ground near you if you are trying to get ready moving around the house cleaning anything like that you just pull it off and just like that it is so easy to put on the ground it does kind of rock back and forth which I think is great and the only thing you have to do is pick it up and set it back on the base 
and you're good to go. When you hit the power button, it does reset everything and put it back in the straight position and turn off. I think this is amazing, especially for the price. So if you're looking for something to save space, I think this is a really good option. You don't have to worry about this taking up a ton of room because it does go vertical. And this really is a two-in-one in my opinion because I was going to buy a seat as well as a, I guess a bouncer, as well as an electric, I think it was like a Mama Roo. Um, I don't know what you would consider that. I guess a swing, so a bouncer and a swing. But I was going to get a separate bouncer and a different swing, and I love that this is just a two-in-one. It makes it so much easier. It's more affordable and more versatile. I also love the size of this. If you guys are familiar with how so many different bouncers are, some of them are really upright, and some of them are really, really flat. And I think this is a really great seating degree if that makes sense they're not too flat they're not too upright especially not long after eating that's just my experience with it of course you want them to be as upright as possible but a lot of these i have found are really really flat or so upright that when they're newborns they just kind of slide down so i think this is really nice and in the middle and then this i did get from amazon and just pop on there it does come with its own little pieces um so if you're interested in that just let me know and i will be happy to link it down below next up is something super simplistic but it literally has been a game changer it's this combination from target the brand is joseph and joseph and this is a countertop drip tray and matching basin if you call it it has a little plug in the bottom I love to put throughout the day the dirty bottles in into the basin. I do use this, which I can link as well. It's from Amazon and it's amazing. It has soap inside and it squirts out like that. I use the antibacterial soap from Costco with a massive jug. I can show that to you as well. I just put that in there, turn the water on, fill it up, and then every day as I use bottles, pump parts, anything like that, I throw them into here and then at night, wash them and anything that you want to air dry you can put on this tray which is amazing because it has this little stream here all of the water flows into and then it does pour out here if you need it usually it's not anything crazy it's just a few droplets but just letting it air dry and sit out here put the bottle caps on here you can put um, different pump parts you can put anything and again the fact that it just folds flat and is so seamless and simple not to mention a really nice, simple, neutral color. This isn't anything extreme. I love this set. I kind of stumbled across this on my own, just looking for a solution to air dry some of my pump and bottle parts. And this definitely is a game changer. If you are or have a smaller sink, you can put this on the countertop. Just make sure you put something underneath in case it does drip. Also, when I'm cooking, I like to put it on the countertop so I don't accidentally contaminate anything but a really really good option it does also have these little feet so you just push that against the end of the sink and everything let everything drip in a perfect world I would push that over to the other side but like I said I really don't have anything too wet to where it's dripping out but if you wanted to use this after the bottles are done for regular dishes, I think this is a nice little system too. If you had a really small kitchen and just needed extra space, great option as well. Next up, the winning combination for bottles. I didn't even know that anything like this existed. I think it's amazing and phenomenal, it changes the game. This is a water warmer. So if you are a little bit apprehensive to get the baby Brezza, if you think the baby Brezza is too expensive, if you simply are afraid of all the parts of the baby Brezza or if it's too big for your space or if you are combo feeding and you don't know that you're going to need to spend that much money on that, this is a really great alternative, very affordable. I think this is around $43 and it basically, first of all, it's glass. So you don't have to worry about any of the plastic parts if you're worried about too much plastic. It keeps the water warm, three different temperatures, Oh, I just changed it. That's, I think, um, regular room temperature water, slightly above, and then red is warm. It does have a nightlight if you are keeping this in your room at night to see, <laughs> see to fill the bottles. A huge game changer in my opinion. You just put the bottle underneath. By the way, this does fit both sizes of bottles, small and large. 
and fill up your water, put your formula in, and you're ready to go with a fresh bottle. If you have a formula that is extremely foamy, extremely thick, and has a lot of air bubbles, then for an additional, I think, $10, you can get this. Again, game changer. You put the water and formula in, you do a couple of these, it literally cuts the foam into one one hundredth of what it would have been originally. If not, you can always leave it on the counter for about 30 minutes, but sometimes, you know, duty calls and you don't have time to wait. So really good option as well. You could also forego this. You can get a bottle warmer. You can put a pitcher of formula, leave it in the fridge when you're ready to go, just warm up the bottle. But I like to do it fresh and ready and warm and not have to use a bottle warmer. Or I just had a really bad one that took too long to warm the bottles. So this is the combo I'm using right now. There are about a hundred different ways you can do it. Do what always works for you. But right now this is really working for me. I also love the Dr. I didn't realize these were all Dr. Brown's. Dr. Brown um, sterilizer and dryer. I think these are amazing. And if you have a newborn, then you definitely need the extra help because washing 12 or so bottles a day really does get tiring and time consuming. Next up is the organization for bottles, pump parts, all of that stuff. This is the system I'm using. This is just what works for me. And I wanted to share it in case because this can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you are not familiar, or this could be a good way to revamp and rehaul what you pre-existingly have. So I use these containers, which I think these are the perfect containers, seriously ever made, especially for bottle parts. I put my bottles in one. These are pump bottles and formula mixing bottles, and then all of my pump parts for my mobile pump my regular pump upstairs and then sometimes I use these which I'm going to show you my collection it's quite extensive of jars for mixing formula at night bringing water on the go but these mason jars and tops are literally a game changer moving on to the drawer again just to make life so easy especially when you're overwhelmed, when you're tired, when you're in a rush, whatever the case may be, this drawer really will make you happy and make your life so much easier. So these are from the Home Edit line at Walmart, very affordable. You can just get the kitchen set or you can get them at the dollar store. You, you don't have to get these, you can get any sort of organizers, but these fit this drawer literally perfectly. I have my caps for everything here the pump bottles and my formula mixing bottles, more pump bottles, caps for the, you have the Dr. Brown's bottles, you know how many pieces they come in, but just separating out the pieces so it makes it easier, separating out the nipples so it makes it easier, your pump bags, your diaper bags, a mixing bottle, the caps, your actual pumps, your pump parts, all of the stuff. This just really does make everything easy for you to see. And then when you're cleaning it, you can just clean it directly, put it in here and put it away. And then you don't have to worry about it. I don't know about you guys, but it can be very overwhelming, especially if it's late and you're tired. So having it makes it just a couple seconds easier and quicker. And I swear, pile that times 10 throughout the day. And that just makes your life so much easier. And next up, my mason jar collection you guys i never knew how much i loved them until i had a baby but these seriously are so helpful and so nice because they're just you can use them for absolutely anything and that's what i love is i love to be able to get things and invest in things a that aren't expensive in case they break get damaged you get sick of them they don't work anymore whatever the case may be but also something that can be multi-use so that when you know, that time ends and I don't need these anymore, I can use them for something else. So they're always going to serve a purpose. And I think that's really, really important here. That's the message. So these are literally every single size, I think, that mason jars come in. The ones that I showed you earlier are probably in between these two sizes. I don't know the exact ounces, cups, any of that, but these are great and we'll tell you what I use them for. This is great for when I go upstairs at night, I prep this full of dry formula and then I bring this full of water. I have them separated until it's time. Then I mix them together, pop the top, pour it, keep that in the mini fridge and you can use that you know, for 24 hours. These are separate tops that I got on Amazon, of course, to go with them because the ones that they come with are metal and those are 
not good unless you're canning. And then same with these tops, same with these tops, same with these tops and this silicone cover. Next up, um, I have used this to store breast milk in, in the fridge. I've used it to store formula in the fridge before I found the Dr. Brown's pitcher. This is great, again, for premixed formula, for water, literally for anything, for breast milk. But what I love is that these lids allow you access to hold it by the handle for heavier ones or just pop the top and pour it and it's not going to spill everywhere because if you have, for example, formula in this, and you go to pour the formula out, there is a good chance if you're pouring it into a bottle that's this big, it is going to spill. So this just kind of allows for that easier access. These, again, you can, at one point, I was sterilizing my water before I had my water system and store the water in there. Literally anything you can think of, I have to use these for. And then finally, last but not least, the Big Daddy, which I'm obsessed with this. I use this for everything especially these silicone covers. These are a game changer and they help so that if, you, of course, because this is so heavy, I think this is a half gallon, you set it down, you don't have to worry about it being loud and or cracking any glass or anything like that. Um, I was putting water in here. You could store breast milk in here. Um, you could put this top on here and store breast milk in here, but these just really are A, phenomenal lids and B, multi-purpose mason jars that I will literally use till the end of time. I also use these for iced tea, for juices. You can decant things, put them in the fridge. I cut up um, my husband's fruit for work and I put them in these smaller jars with the lid. So again, you can just literally use them for anything. When she gets older, I can put her food in these. I can put store extra milk in them, whatever. The possibilities are endless and these are going to most importantly last forever. They're glass, they're a really good glass. I've had no issues with cracking, with chipping, any of that stuff. And I think that that's really important too, especially working with a baby. You don't wanna worry about the glass sharring or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think if you guys have used these before, because this probably is one of my most favorite things that I have found for the baby. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will leave everything linked in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.